guys, it's Grace and I'm coming back at you with another video, but I'm going to try something different today. So, a while back, um, someone in the comments said that I should, I'm not sure if I'm making this up or if it actually happened, because I feel like it happened, but I actually can't remember, but suggested that I did tutorials on the one of the songs that I cover, cover. and um, I thought, wow, like, I'd never even thought about branching into doing tutorials and stuff like that but you know what I thought I'd give it a try so the first song I covered on my channel is Forever by Carrie Job, and I will show you how I played it it's basically four chords and I just want to say it's not my um song it's not the way I made up these chords I don't like own the way I've played it but this is the way I usually play it it's the key that suits me so I'll share that with you and that is in the QFC. So yeah, continue watching and I hope you enjoy. And if you do, like let me know and feel free to throw things my way and suggest things my way. So yeah. I play it in standard tuning on capo three. Interesting fact, I got this capo when I first started playing, which was about four years ago now, ripped off, paid £15 from it, £15 for it from the local music store, I only find that you can buy them for like £2 online, but I guess it's lasted me, so it's okay. So, um, I really don't know how to structure it, these are the four, the six strings, E, A, D, G, B, E, A, D, Eight dynamite goodbye Eddie and I'll try and do it in finger so this is your first second third fourth first second third fourth fifth I'll try and do it that way I'm not sure the thumb obviously always goes at the back of the thing so it stays like that apart from it might go up that when you're playing open chords um so yeah so capo three the chords I play are in this order C, G major, A minor, F. So, so. so play the C chord, which is actually a bit difficult. You place your second finger on A, D, G, B, on the B string on the first fret relative to capo, and then you place your second finger on the D string and then you place your third finger third no fourth fourth on the A string and you only play the bottom five strings so that's your C chord and you could do the C add nine version if you want but which is um I don't think it works with this version because obviously you have the bar chord so yeah no I'd rather just stick to the C major version for the G chord you can play it in two ways you can play it this version which is G major or G suspended four which has a little bit more of a punch to it if I this isn't a pick but I'll just play it with this so you can hear what it sounds like so for that you have your second finger on the second fret on the A string your third 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 finger on the E string on the third fret your fourth finger will be on the B string on the third fret and your fifth finger will be on the third fret on the high E string and that gives you the G suspended four and if you wanted to do the other version then your fourth finger would be on the third fret on the high E string. A A minor you put your first, second finger on the first fret on the B string, your third finger on the D string on the second fret, and your fourth finger on the second fret on the E A D G string. Or you could play the A minor seven version and take 
this finger off and just play those two. Yeah. Play F, which is the hardest. I'll show you the altered version. So, if you're playing the C chord, you just go down with these two fingers. So your third finger goes down onto the D string. That goes down onto the G string, and then your fourth finger on the third fret goes down to the D string. So, and you play. Oh, sorry, I forgot to be saying. On the G string, you play all the strings. On the A minor, you play the bottom five, and for this F alteration, you play the bottom five. And if you know the bar chord version, then you bar the first fret. You put your third finger finger on um, fret two and play the E A D G hold on yeah play the G string on the second fret and then your last two fingers the fourth one goes on the A string on the third fret and then your last finger goes on the D string on the third fret I hope I made sense. I don't know if I did, but I hope so. It looks like this. And I'll try and do that a bit slower. Another alteration for G which just makes it a bit punchy you play in the major bar chord version. So you do the F shape but you just bring up two frets just like that so you've got the major version. That's G. That's F. Makes it easier for transitions sometimes. So for strumming pattern, I don't know, kind of just go with the flow. So for the intro, what you could do, I'm not intro first verse, you want to play it softly because you want to build up into the song. So you can just do down strum, so I'll show you. The moon stars they wept. Morning sun was dead, saviour of the world was fallen. His body on the cross, his blood poured out for us, the weight of every curse upon him. So just playing down strums softly with my thumb. Okay, um, for the turnaround bit where it's like you just got that bit where you go between the verse and then into like the bridgey bit. I don't know, not bridge, but midsection. I'm trying to think what I do. So I'm going to try and figure out the strumming pattern for that. Right. Tried to play it a couple of times. Oh, I dropped my lid. I tried to um, play it a couple of times so I could figure out the strumming pattern. Got it down on a little note like that. So I play. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. So it sounds like this. So down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. I'm going to do that again. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down. Pause, down, up. And one more time. Down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, pause, down, up. So 
transitioning you just do that for all the chords and this is what it should sound like so you so the to the mid section <laughs> lost myself This is really hard. Well, hope that makes sense because I think I'm, I don't know, I'm not a guitar, I'm not a tutor, but I'm trying. So that's what, so, so we'll go from where we are so far. So from the intro down, just down strokes. go to the midsection you see you've got a little bit of build up and then it goes it doesn't go like I'm trying to think of the no that's the way for the ground began to shake, but you do the same. The ground began to shake, the song was rolled away. His perfect love cannot be overcome. Now death rose your sting, our resurrected king has rendered you defeat. Or you might want to do what I showed you with the F chord going up here. So, um, the ground began to shake, song was rolled away. It's perfect, I cannot be your worker. Now, death was yours. Just to give it a bit more punch, change it up a little bit. Excuse my nails being so bright i do like them doesn't obviously go with what i'm wearing right now but other outfits it will so now for the chorus forever he is glorified i think i do the same for the chorus i'm trying to forever he is glorified And then, okay, so once you get you're doing downstrokes, um, can't remember how it starts, downstrokes for the first verse, and then you do that strumming pattern for the midsection, for the chorus it builds up nicely, you want to play it louder as you get to the chorus, really get into it, and now we'll go to the bridge, we sing hallelujah a bit, yeah. When it comes to the wishing hallelujah but you want to play it softly and build up again because it's the bridge it's the main part where you want everyone to be going for it and really singing it with the whole congregation to be like yes we sing hallelujah the lamb has overcome he is alive forever he is glorified he is risen he is alive you really want them to go for it you want to bring out those emotions and really let them worship so so what I would do in that section is palm mute so you're playing but you're also inhibiting the open noise with your this bit of your palm so I'll bring it up because you can't really see but as you're playing you're hitting it so So if I didn't have a palm in the way, it'd be like this. But you're playing it this way, so the palm is muting it.
so just keep on practicing that it might feel awkward at first but the more you practice the more it gets easier and don't worry your palm is so soft it won't hurt but it's just a bit of fat anyway so or you could pick it And I'll show you how to do that. Pick, finger picking, there's no rule of thumb, you can do whatever you want, but this is what I would do. So you're playing your shape still, then C to G to A minor to F. For picking, I wouldn't go and do like. Oh. I'll be making all these shapes because it's just going to make it harder for yourself. Oh, I'm playing most of them like simply up here and going all the way down there, by the way. But yeah, your root chord, root sound is going to be the A string. So you just, with your thumb, you pluck the, might be easy if I do this again. You pluck the second string of your thumb with your third finger, you pluck the E, A, D, G, B, B string. And then with your second finger, you pluck the G. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And I think you just wait. I didn't do that. be what I did yeah so it's simple as that you just pluck the second string with your thumb and then the B string with your third finger and the G string with your second finger and then you obviously transition to each chord like the simple version and if you want to like play an extra string just to make it um flow a bit better I can't remember how I did it okay so you play that And then you pluck this string again, and this one, and you just play around with it a bit. Yeah, you just, so you play. And then you just, like that. You literally, yeah, that makes sense now. Showing up close like this. So I have my C shape. So. so I'm not even playing the F chord. get it it's a bit complicated picking but yeah hope that gave you a clearer picture so I think that's everything I needed to go through you've got your chords 
you've got your strumming pattern down up up down up up down down up um, you've got a picking pattern and you just need to go through it now and I will go through it so you can hear it enjoy I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it has made sense and if it's not clear enough let me know in the comments and it will help me improve for next time but enjoy storage cut out so I'm going to try again so here you go Is a 
was lying. So thank you for watching, I really hope that tutorial was helpful and made you understand more how I played it and how you don't necessarily, you can play things differently and how you can change it up in different parts of the song, playing it quietly, palm muting it, finger picking it, playing it loudly, doing different um, strumming patterns and stuff like that. If it helped you, give it a thumbs up and, and definitely Tell me how you found it in the comments and if it was good. Um, but yeah, and I hope you enjoyed that little cover again um, in the end, explaining everything, like showing you in action. And I'll, I'll see if whilst I'm editing, I'll like, sh like put a caption, palm muting, finger picking, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up stuff like that to, so you can follow whilst I'm playing but yeah I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye